Hello, this is the Provoke Prawn, and this is the Mad Cat's Rat Pro X3 Supreme. This is quite possibly the most bonkers looking gaming mouse you're ever likely to see, and certainly the most insane looking one that I've tested. And as you'll see from this unboxing video, it comes with a number of interesting highlights that include a mass of things that make it look like it's just exploded all over my desk. Side plates, thumb rests, external back plates for adjusting the size and comfort of it, new replacement scroll wheels, all sorts of things. It boasts a magnesium alloy exo frame that's designed to be light and super strong. And it's also built to be comfortable in the hand and comes with a number of other highlights that include 10 onboard memory profiles, up to 16,000 DPI, 400 inches per second, 50 grams acceleration, 3000 hertz max report rate, a Pixar sensor, Omron switches that are guaranteed up to 50 million clicks, and as I said, all these other things. It has two palm rests included in the box, additional scroll wheels, pinky rest, thumb rest, uh, extra fleet including glide feet and there's more on that in a minute as I go through and unbox it as you see it also comes with a carry case and a pretty nifty box setup now this is as I said a very expensive gaming mouse but it's also really customizable and I like Mad Cat's setup in the past because if you're worried about finding a mouse that will be the right fit for your hand like you have particularly large hands or particularly small hands and you've always struggled finding a mouse that's the right size and shape then this is a good option because you can adjust the size and the shape of it and therefore make it fit perfectly into your hand at least in theory. Now I have had a number of problems with this one from a personal standpoint I'll talk to you as I go through but I do think it is still an interesting mouse and it has a really interesting design to it. It has a number of different buttons that you'll see, including the swappable side plates as well, where you can change out the thumb rests to change the design. This is very much a right-handed gaming mouse. The thumb rests on the side obviously have extra buttons on them, and there's no buttons for the right hand side so you don't have the option of having buttons on that side. So it's really designed for right-handed gamers. Also has ceramic or teflon feet options as you'll see but and you can also see a striking design that includes some carbon fiber-esque finishes gold accents some nifty little design quirks on the mouse buttons themselves you see a textured sort of style to them and a sort of overall nice look and feel to it it's quite it's going to be quite a personal opinion i suppose whether it looks cheap and garish or good quality. In the hand it feels very lightweight and quite plasticky. It does feel cheap but I suppose that's because they've tried to make it as lightweight as possible while also having the flexibility to have all these different things. Now they boast 108 different combinations of phys physical configurations and I'm going to show you different things that you can do with it as we go through and show you what's possible to change in here. And it is also in shown off in the manual and how to do it and what you can do with it. And I'm going to talk to you about that as I go through as well and just the customization options on it. It might seem a bit gimmicky and I think you probably won't be changing out all the bits regularly, but it's nice to be able to change some of these things around. So for example, I swapped out the right hand thumb rest and found that the one I'd chosen was actually quite uncomfortable and I didn't like it, but that was good because it meant I could change it to another one. So you're not stuck with one design, you can change between the others. Also, they thought about little details in here. So for example, there's a little brush included that allows you to clean out in between the parts because you'll see some of the bits sort of stick up and jut out. It's, not an enclosed unit. You also have a little tool for removing the rests on either side so you can unscrew those and take them off and then replace them with the other ones. And again, here's a picture to just show you the different parts that are available. And you have those three back plates and that's the first thing that struck me is that you obviously have that size adjustable back plate anyway so you can extend and retract 
the length of the mouse and make it fit into your hand. So if you've got a larger hand that you can extend it, you can also shorten it right down and make it a really small mouse as well. And that's been one of the highlights of Mad Cat's rat mice for a while in my mind. Another thing is the scroll wheels, quite unusual. You have a choice of three different scroll wheels that are included. There's a nice black metal one and then a black rubber one affair instead. And you can swap those out really easily. And then it has a silver one as standard. And I'll show you how to swap those in a second. But basically, these give you a nice bit of options because you not only have sort of tactile feedback from the mouse itself, but also textured grips on them. And you can feel that on your finger. You can feel what it's like and the style of it. And you'll see there's a different style between them. Obviously, it's quite a significant difference between a rubber one and the metal ones. Just the look and feel of them and the overall look and design as well. And they make for a nice ring if you don't want to wear them on the mouse itself. <laughs> so I wouldn't recommend doing that really. Now, there are a number of different buttons on here. As you can see, you have a DPI switching button on top where you can switch between the different DPI levels. As I said, it goes up to 16,000 DPI maximum. You don't need to have it on that, obviously. You can set to lower levels. And you can switch between four different DPI levels on the fly and you can adjust these things within the software. Software is a problem for me though. I couldn't get it to install so unfortunately I can't show you it in this. It complains about .NET framework that I have updated and installed multiple times and not had any luck with trying to get the answer. That's quite an annoyance. However, as standard it's really easy to use this mouse anyway. It has all these buttons that can be customized within software and then you can use it in games as well and adjust those settings it's recognized the buttons are recognized is what i said now you lift that mouse wheel up to change out the textured wheels and switch between them you can see that this process is pretty straightforward they also claim that you have this side to side sort of movement on the mouse wheel so it kind of can be used in a different way so it has basically different axis controls so as well as going in and back and forth it also goes side to side as it's in there and I don't honestly like the way they've designed it it doesn't feel very natural it doesn't work very well for me I feel it a bit it's a bit fiddly I've seen other mice with side to side clicks but this one just is a bit awkward to use and uh, it's not great it might just be me perhaps having trouble with it struggling getting used to it but I don't like the way it's designed now the thing that I do like however is the magnetic feet so you have these extra feet included in the box now I'm just showing you that they're magnetic and you can stick them on top of the other ones but you're actually meant to swap out and replace the ones that are included so you have the option of these PTFE feet or the ceramic versions and you can basically just swap them out and they, because they're held on with magnets they're really easy to take off but they won't come off and then you can just change between them and select the ones that are preferred by you in terms of the movement they're also very slick and they result in a nice smooth and fast movement on the desk really enjoyable in that way it's a nice mouse to use reactive and accurate for gaming and such as long as you can get it into the right comfort level and I'll talk to you about that in a bit more depth in a minute and again you can see the carbon fiber-esque finish underneath there and what that looks like too and just the overall design of it now on the side on the thumb rest there is a sniper button or a button for a sort of low DPI setting so as I said you have multiple DPI levels that you can adjust you also note those gold accented buttons on there my thumb as well. They're obviously your standard side thumb buttons, but what I'm basically trying to tell you is that you have three buttons on the left hand side on that thumb rest. I personally find them a bit awkward to press. I feel like the way they're sat, they don't jut out enough and it's not easy to discern where they are. And they also just, I struggle to push them in, which is a bit of a strange complaint to have, but I feel like other mice with side buttons I've got on well with, really well. But this one, I just feel like they're not terribly easy to use. However, again, that's going to be a personal preference thing. I just feel like the fitment of them, I can't really explain why. I just can't get on with them. However, I do like the press of them. They are nice and soft to press and gentle too. The back plate, as I said, can be adjustable. You can obviously take that off and switch it out with the other ones in the box. So you can adjust not only the size, but also the shape and feel. of There's a slight difference in the ergonomic design of these and the way they sit in the hand, which means you can have them sitting lower or higher 
and also obviously in and out as well to adjust to the right size to you. Again, this is another thing I found was a bit awkward. I didn't find as much of a problem with the previous Mad Cat's mouse that I looked at, the 6 Plus, but this one for some reason I just couldn't get it to fit in my hand the way I wanted it to and uh, it was a bit, bit of an oddity. However, I do like some of the other accents to it. You'll note, for example, this sort of raised grip on the left hand side by the left mouse button. It sort of stops your finger from slipping off the mouse and also just gives you a nice little rest for it when you're not clicking around as well, which I really like. And I like the sort of hooks and thumb rests and things like that that you can get on it. I did adjust one side and you'll see that in a second. You can actually see it here where there's an attachment on the right hand side of the mouse that allows you to basically put another rest on there and that has a hook where your finger would be and I found I kept catching my finger on that. I quickly switched that out for one of the other rests and found that was more comfortable that way. Now on the underside you'll note there's the removable sensor which is I'm not sure why you can remove that because there's nothing to replace it with perhaps you can buy an additional one however you'll note that red button there that juts out from the underside that is allowing you to then switch between profiles on the fly so you can program in the in the software and then you can switch between 10 different programmable profiles with ease by just pressing that button and you'll get an lcd display on the underside that counts through and tells you which ones now the end result of the mouse when you've set it up the way you want it is you can see it looks like a little sports car sitting on my desk quite unusual as this large spoiler on the back and a really sort of angry looking design to it. It is quite swish and nice looking. So if you want something that looks a lot different from the crowd and also design that delivers a comfort that's adjustable and personalizable to make it sort of suit your needs and you're worried that you won't find a mouse that's the right fit for your hand, then this one's a lot more flexible and allows you to adjust it in a number of different ways, which is certainly appealing. Whether you're going to play around with those different plates and fitments after you've got it in the way you want it obviously it's going to vary wildly you probably won't i found i've sort of set it up the way i like it and now i'm not going to change it anymore however it is nice to have that option i think and that allows that flexibility also the thumb and pinky rests are fantastic i really like that addition not having your fingers on the desk means that I find I don't catch as much. Also, the different design of the scroll wheels for the mouse wheel mean that you have a great fit there as well. And you can obviously choose between the different designs and the comfort of it too. And it looks great. I think actually the silver one looks the best. But if you wanted to go for something a bit more subtle or you want the rubber one because you prefer the texture and the feel of rubber and the grip that it gives you in the middle of a gaming session and that perfect because you can basically just switch them out on the fly really easily too. So, so far what you're getting is a picture of a expensive mouse with a number of different highlights, a really bold, striking design, but with customizable options and some really good specs. I'm going to leave all the specifications in the description so you can check it out, as well as a link to the official page and the software that you can download. It also has RGB lighting and again unfortunately this isn't something I could show off because I just can't get the software to work which is a shame. It just won't work with my PC and I've tried all sorts to try and get that working. Hopefully you won't have the same problems. Now to show you the removal process for the thumb rests and things you have this little tool as I was saying that basically allows you to just unscrew them and then they pop off. A nice little easy process and those screws just come out and allow you to remove the thumb rest and obviously on the other side of the pinky and then you can change to the other design and you can see again you can switch between the but the choices for the left hand side essentially give you a nice bit of a thumb rest with some buttons that you can press and you can see you've got several buttons in this setup including that sniper button I was talking about. It's actually a precision aim button, so you can basically press and hold that and get a slow and low DPI that allows for a more precise aim. Seen that sort of similar button on other mice from Corsair and Razer and Logitech, and it's a nice addition here too. And you can see it up close there, that black button below the gold accented ones. And you can see the slight difference between these two plates on the left hand side. One sits a bit closer and one slightly further out. So if you 
are like me and you have troubles feeling that button perhaps you just feel like your hands just a bit pushed out but basically it's making the mouse wider so you can make the mouse wider and longer and customize that fit to the way you want it now the plates on the right hand side also swap out and you can adjust the fitment of those ones too and you have two extra options here in what you can change it out for and the standard one basically has nothing going on and then you can change for one that has a little pinky rest and another one that has a hook on the top of it and that hook one that you can see here is the one that I didn't really like I tried that out initially I found that my finger kept catching on it or it was just sitting in the way of my fingers that are on top when I'm pressing the right mouse button and I just found it was a bit uncomfortable but the other one that you can change to has the pinky rest design to it. I want to finish off just comparing the mouse with one of the other ones I've looked at recently and this is the glorious PC Gaming Master Race Model O and I felt like the brat isn't that big I was expecting it to be a lot bigger and obviously you can extend the size of it and change it and adjust it but I just felt like side by side it even at full length it doesn't feel that big which I think is a shame and a missed opportunity perhaps because this mouse could potentially be large uh, than other gaming mice out there but I think what I'm trying to show is that it isn't necessarily huge so don't expect that because you can adjust it it's going to be massive and then you can make it tiny it sort of still has that set size to it but for the most part a very nice mouse with some certainly interesting features but a very expensive price tag but then a sort of exquisite finish to it and a very interesting design hope you found this video useful let me know in the comments if you've got any questions thanks for watching this has been the Provoke Prawn. Thanks for taking the time to watch this video. I hope you found it useful, interesting, hilarious, or all of the above. Be sure to check out the description for other information you might find interesting, and subscribe and watch these other videos as well that I think might be useful to you. And have a great life.